Ontario recently dropped the age for publicly funded breast cancer screenings for those with average risk from 50 to 40, which means come fall of 2024, many more people will be eligible for their first mammogram. It's a test that uses an X-ray beam uh, to take a picture of a compressed breast and we look at the mammogram to find uh, changes which indicate early breast cancer. Breast radiologist Dr. Supriya Kulkarni explains that breast cancer can show up in a mammogram in different ways. Early breast cancer can present as calcifications. So calcifications are tiny uh, flecks of calcium that get deposited in the cancerous tissue. Then there are cancers that present with small masses and sometimes in the breast tissue you can see distortion. Dr. Kulkarni says there's nothing you need to do to prepare for a mammogram, but there is something you shouldn't do. The only thing we ask is not to have any creams or any kind of deodorants because deodorants and creams tend to have uh, metal particles such as zinc. They produce what we call artifacts. Mm. Artifacts mean something which we don't want to see and they can obscure what we really are looking for. Walk me through what a patient can expect when they come for a mammogram in this room. So once the patient walks into the room, patient's already ready. She's wearing a simple loose gown that can be easily removed when required. So once you have the breast here, this is a plate that comes down and compresses the breast. Okay. This compression prevents the breast from moving when you're breathing. Every breathing movement can cause movement of the breast. So we don't want that to happen. And then here on the top, you see this is like the actual x-ray tube. Okay. So the beam comes from here, goes down through this, into the breast, into the receptor. And whatever goes through here gets recorded on this and automatically gets transferred to our workstation where we actually look for the mammogram. Right. And as soon as the uh, x-ray beam is shot and done, the compression is released. It all takes about 30 seconds and is performed twice per breast to get different views of each one. Dr. Kulkarni says for a majority of women, results of a screening mammogram are normal. But if it's your first one, you may be called back for additional testing. The idea of mammography is to have it sequentially uh, at the given intervals. And then we know that, oh yeah, she has this calcification uh, and it's been there for 10 years. Right. When a person comes for the very first mammogram, which is called the baseline mammogram, we don't have anything to compare with. So the radiologist will review the mammogram and call the patient back for an additional x-ray, an additional um, ultrasound. Now, Dr. Kulkarni says that mammograms can be uncomfortable for many people, but the benefits far outweigh the discomfort. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.